Welcome to District Dialogue, Commissioner Mitchell. Yes, I've got a great program for you today. We're gonna to be talking about Connect Douglas. Got that right. See my guys in the background trying to make sure I get this part of right. I got it right that time. Here's what we got though. We're gonna be talking about the various programs here in Douglas County that's being offered. Now let me just give you a list of what they got from Connect Douglas. We've got Smart Commute Van Pool, Freedom To Go, uh, Greta service that's offered here in Douglas County, Carpool, Van Pool, Park and Ride, you name it, we got it. To include, we're here now on location at Cornerstone Baptist Church, and we're talking about the busing system. Let me get that right, the busing system. So stick around, I've got the experts that's gonna come in and talk about the van pool to include the busing system. Also, I've got a few constituents who are here just kind of making some rounds, understanding what the possibilities are. So stick around. We got a lot to kind of offer you today on District Dialogue. It's going to be awesome. It's Connect Douglas, Commissioner Mitchell, District Dialogue. Welcome. And again, welcome to District Dialogue, Commissioner Mitchell, District One, and we're out and about doing round two or three. I don't know. We've got several uh, community visits that we're talking about the various mobile systems that's going to be happening here in Douglas County. Now, we've got several. We've got the Van Pool. We've got Greta. We've got, I mean, you name it, we've got it happening here in Douglas County. However, today we're at uh, Cornerstone Baptist Church, and I just want to make sure I get a couple of constituents on on tape and talking about what's happening at this particular visit at, Corner, at Cornerstone Baptist Church. Now, would you please introduce yourselves? I'm James Turner. Zandra Turner, we live in District 1. Okay, we live in District 1. And let me just say this, this is not a setup. This is true, this is real. And now tell me, you guys have had a chance to visit the various routes of the mobile transportation system. What's your take on it? I think it's neat. Not, if you had them going to the ball fields, Okay. It'd be a lot better. So, so we need <laughs> we need to add to this. We need to get them to go to the ball fields, uh, to, to the Braves games, and possibly to right. the Falcons and, and downtown to see the Hawks. Right. Ah. Now, this particular system supposedly is going to reach an extended arm down at the Hamilton Station in Atlanta, which I think is a possible great move with that type of a setting. So, we we might have you taken care of. Xandra, what was your take on this? I'm anxious for us to have a system in the county okay. to move people around, especially the senior citizens okay. do need public transportation. Now, I'll just say this. this. This system was designed for seniors and disabled. However, it's, a, it's kind of grown and evolved into just, let's say, let's look at everybody. Let's look at those who may be of youth age that don't have a car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that don't have a car that might need that, that uh, transportation to get to switch the Red Cross to work. So, and, and the senior citizens, we have a program, just FYI, and I know you might know this, we have a voucher program for the seniors. I did not know that. Yes, the voucher program that we offer for the seniors that we'll continue to talk about, you know, here on District Dialogue. But let me first of all say thank you guys for at least sharing and being honest. Anything else you want to add to the citizens of Douglas County to say, you, you, you up or down, or how do you feel about this whole possibility of this mobile system? I think you're moving in the right direction. You heard it first, Mr. and Mrs. Turner. Thank you. All right. Joining me now on District Dialogue, Commissioner Mitchell. Um, wow, this beautiful young lady here to talk about Connect Douglas. Now, I, I know you've got this long title that I'm not going to get into this title, so I'm, I'm going to let her tell a title and explain the, like, why, what brought you here? What, why are you here? <laughs> thank you, Commissioner Mitchell. And thank you, Douglas County. My name is Danielle Crow, and I'm the Director of Communications and Community Engagement, not that long, um, <laughs> and, uh, at the collaborative firm mm -hmm. and we were secured by the uh, Douglas County Board of Commissioners to help lead an education and rebranding campaign for rideshare mm -hmm. or more specifically the Department of Multimodal Transportation mm -hmm. Services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the true purpose is the various service that we already offer here in Douglas County and we're going to also spend some extended time 
talking about the busing system, the proposed busing system. Right, yeah. correct. Okay. Um, some time ago, the Board of Commissioners um, conducted or had commissioned a transportation study, mm -hmm. which revealed that um, more than 80% of the people who participated in the study felt that it was important that the citizens of Douglas County um, be made aware of the services that already exist. So Rideshare has been in existence in providing valuable services to the residents for more than 30 years. Right. Um, yet there were many residents who were unaware of the programs that existed. So that's why we brought you guys on yes. and spent the dollars essentially to educate Douglas yes. Countyans. Also now to include the proposed busing system that could possibly be a part of Douglas County here in the future. So let's go through the, not the proposed, let's go through the systems that we already offer here in Douglas County. Yes, the existing services. So the primary services include uh, the smart smart commute van pool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in which there are 40 or more um, routes where Douglas County residents uh, utilize these to travel to work uh, at different employment centers either in Atlanta or Alabama. Um, it's a, a valuable program and service where some people have been riding for more than 20 years and save annually yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, up to $9,000. Yes. It reduces their stress, um, they have a greater sense of community because they work. Air quality. Air quality, okay. uh, water quality. Mm -hmm. So it does impact the environment and it reduces our carbon footprint. And this is an existing service that we already offer. Yes, for more than 20 years. Okay, go ahead. And as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. it's a, uh, I think a celebration point for celebration, yes. uh, for Celebrate Douglas because Douglas County is the second largest user of van pools within the entire state. Wow, wow, good to know. All right, round two. Um, another service would be the Transportation Voucher Program, now known as Freedom to Go. Okay. It uh, benefits um, seniors and um, residents with disabilities uh, in assisting them to subsidize quality of life trips. It's different in that uh, many transportation service programs uh, only take you to the doctor, but this uh, allows you to visit your family and friends, whatever you need to do. If you need to go to the grocery store, the library, mm -hmm. it's up to that particular citizen how they utilize that service. So it's very popular service. Um, Connect Douglas, or um, formerly known as Rideshare, also facilitates the Greta Express buses. Yes. Um, they also provide a carpool matching service and they um, also manage the park and ride lots. So people who utilize the van pools and all these other services have right. the ability to park in a free and secure work, um, travel lot. And all of these services, existing services that are already being offered by Douglas County. Yes. Okay, now let's get into the one that's being proposed, mm -hmm. the new busing system, or you gave it a different name at one time. Well, there's a, there's a fixed proposed bus route. And so okay. one of our, um, charges under this campaign is to go out and seek the public's input on the proposed um, And that's bus. what we're doing today. And that's what we're doing today. Yes. Um, we are not here to express any opinions, but to get the public's opinion. Absolutely. Um, we're also getting input on the specific routes. Mm -hmm. um, the proposed locations are areas of service, mm -hmm. whether they feel it's a priority for the, the community or not. Mm -hmm. So, um, it, and it's been a rewarding experience to get the different opinions that right, are out because, there. Right, because you, you hear a lot of different stories, a lot of myths, a lot of things that people are saying, whether they for it or against it. That's not what, that's not what we hired you guys to do. Right. We hired you guys to educate and right. get the information and return to us with the resolve of what that is. Right. What was, what was not that was being proposed, but what people had to say, whether they like it or not. Right. Uh, I just had a gentleman come up and ask me about um, about how can, I, I like the system, but I want to get to the Braves game. I said, wow. Right. I said, make sure she come, he or she and right. these guys come and talk to you guys, because right. that could be a proposed, not saying we're going to go to the Braves game, but where Cobb and Douglas kind of connect on Thornton Road, that could be a possibility. Right. I think that there are different um, um, areas of opportunity yes. uh, that have been revealed during this process. Mm -hmm. um, and there is... Um, Connectivity is one of those things that people have expressed mm -hmm. that yes, these routes are great and it's a nice start, but we even want more. Yeah. Not only do we want this, we want more. Well, and speaking of more, it, it went from just being a part of senior citizens and disabled mm -hmm. to now two routes to four routes and possibly extending an arm down to Thornton Road. So mm -hmm. there, it, it's starting to evolve, not to say that's bad, right? but that could be a, that, that's to me maybe a good look as to why right. we should either move or 
or look at the possibility of making sure that people are mobile in Douglas County. Right. So I, th I think another thing I'd like to add is that uh, aside from this um, public input portion on the proposed bus routes, but also during the education phase on the existing services, okay. um, there were so many people, we did a lot of community pop-ups in different locations, yes, like the libraries, the um, Douglas County Courthouse. Uh, because My we really conversations. Yes, your okay. coffee and yes, conversations yes. are the Juneteenth like, Festival. Why are you here? Okay, but yeah. <laughs> the Hydrangea <laughs> Festival, because we really believe in meeting people where they are. Yes. Uh, because we want their honest opinion and we want to share this information with them. Mm -hmm. But what was most rewarding is not only people saying, oh, I need more of this material, I need to take it to my church, there are so many people who don't know about this, but having people call directly from the table to call the office for assistance because they too needed help and wanted to utilize the program. Got so it. we know that there is unmet yeah. demand and uh, we're, we're happy to be a part of sharing this information with the community. Well, you're hearing it from the expert. I, I, you know, I, I must say, the expert has spoken. Okay. And we've got another expert that's going to come in the room and talk about, you know, the director of communication. We'll talk about exactly, you know, kind of some other additions to what this really is and what this consists of. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it. Now, we're going to talk to a few citizens okay. and Super. let them kind of give their honest input. And then we'll come back and we'll close out district dialogue. So I just want to say thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Thank you, Commissioner she's Mitchell. Really, she's really nice to me. In most cases, she is. But, uh, you know, I'll give her that much. Thank you again. And, and stick around because there's more to come. We will get into the citizens' comments. We'll get into the other experts and a whole lot more. It's all happening right here on District Dialogue. We've got some more citizens that want to kind of give their input and their take on Connect Douglas. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple. Now, you guys had a chance to get on the bus. Yes. You didn't get a chance to ride it yet. Though. Right. No. But let's do this first. Why don't okay. you introduce yourselves to District Dialogue? Okay. My name is Linda Jones. And my name is Robert Jones. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, you had a chance to kind of, you know, take that little tour of the bus. Mm -hmm. What did you notice? What did you like? What did you dislike? and uh, just want your, your insight. Okay. I didn't see anything I disliked. Oh, okay. okay. I like mm -hmm. the idea that um, it will be available, hopefully. Uh -huh. And um, I like the idea that it's convenient, it was easy to navigate. Okay. Uh, Is there enough seats? It's not very big, oh, yes. Okay. Oh. Nice and mm -hmm. small, okay. comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. The seats are nice and comfy, okay. you know. Okay. Uh, and then the back, they have the, the ramp that lets down for the handicap. handicap. It's mm -hmm. accessible okay. to handicap. And uh, it looks comfortable. Okay. okay. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I do too. Okay. Now, Long now, overdue. Mm -hmm. Now, Ms. <laughs> Jones likes to talk. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jones, mm -hmm. any, anything that you notice? not only just on the bus, mm -hmm. but when you went around and just got a chance to visit and look at some of the possible routes that may be available. Yeah, I, uh, I, I just had a, I wanted to know about how to connect, you know, from, from a, a Sweetwater. Sweetwater. Okay, got it. To, to yeah. get, like, to the hospital. So in the uh, Lithia to, Springs area, you want yeah. to be able to, how, how you can connect from Lithia Springs to get down mm -hmm. uh, and go to Wellstar. Yeah, Wellstar, uh, oh. Sam's, uh, yeah. uh, Walmart. Got it, got it. Uh, so, um, yeah. so that's, now, do understand, there are a couple of routes that you guys had a chance to kind of take a look at mm -hmm. and say yay or nay, add right. to. So you guys got yeah. your stickums and put them on there. Right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, maybe make that known that that's one of your concerns. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We oh, did. We well, excuse them right. all then. Okay, okay. Yeah. the Jones got it. No. I'll just leave it at that. So yeah. thank you guys again thank for being you. a part of District Dialogue. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I think this might be going in the right direction. Good, what we're doing. good, mm -hmm. good. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. amen. Okay. Amen. Right. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, more district dialogue. We got more citizens' comments. We've got more experts. Just hang on. And we're going to even give you the maps of all of the routes in just a few moments. Joining me now on district dialogue, I got the expert. I told you, I've got many experts that's going to be here on District Dialogue. With me now is Gary. Gary, welcome to District Dialogue. Well, thank you. Appreciate the invitation tonight. Now, I know you have a big role here with Douglas, or excuse me, Connect Douglas. Mm -hmm. Why don't you share with our viewing audience, okay. what is that? Sure. Well, my name is Gary Watson. I'm Director of Multimodal Transportation Services for Douglas County. 
down for the last 25 years or so, you may have known us as Douglas County Rideshare, which in our, the hat that we've hung on is the VanPoo program that takes commuters uh, through work to work locations throughout the metro Atlanta area. Well, we're expanding. Okay. Uh, we've added some services down through the years. Um, we assist people in forming carpools. We have the, the Georgia Regional Transportation Authority Express bus service that goes into downtown Atlanta. And we also have a very successful voucher program that provides transportation assistance for senior adults and disabled Correct. individuals. Now, let's, let's stop there though. The, okay. the, the, the voucher program. There's normally a waiting list on yes. the voucher program. Currently, right now, how many do we have roughly from the seniors' perspective that's on that particular voucher program? We have about 90 seniors and disabled people in our program right, right. now, but we have a waiting list of See. about 110. So we all understand that there's a need. Correct. For more of expanding the program. And how is this program funded? Most of it is fun funded through federal grants. The voucher program is. Yes, yes. Um, That's what I'm speaking of, the voucher program. Right. Yes. The voucher program is, unfortunately, we have limited federal funds mm -hmm. with it, and that's why we can only help as many individuals as we can because we do have limited funds. Now, we funding. recently we recently added to that, that pool recently some seniors. Uh, I don't remember the exact time frame of that, that, you know, we added roughly 50 or so or 30 or so seniors based on some additional money from Yes, sir. Okay. We, we got a new round of funding that actually kicks in July the 1st. Correct. And with that additional funding, we're gonna, going to be able to add 30 people to our program. And even with adding to that, there's still a waiting list. Over 100. Wow. Okay. Well, go right ahead and talk yes, about sir. the other programs that we, that we offer and services that we offer. Okay. Well, you may have heard the, the term Connect Douglas. And what we're doing with that is we're rebranding all of our services because we feel like uh, what our main purpose is to connect the citizens of Douglas County with the places they need to get to. Understood, understood. And so we're changing the ride chain sh share name over to Connect Douglas, mm -hmm. and that will encompass our Bamboo program, the Great Express buses, the voucher program, and also uh, we're park, proposing park and ride, park, the park, yeah, park that's, and that's ride all, lots. Yeah, okay, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Those are the, all the existing services existing that services, we already offer. Correct. Okay. Yes, sir. And we're also proposing fixed route bus service. That's right. And that will become part of uh, Connect Douglas correct. as well. And that's being proposed. Correct. Um, we may, by the time of viewing this particular program, it could have moved forward in what direction we won't know. But right now, we're here at Cornerstone Baptist Church just kind of getting an input mm -hmm. for those who would like to talk about the likes, the dislikes, Correct. Um, how they feel about sure. a, a, a mobile transportation system uh, when it comes to what I call a mini bus. It's mm -hmm. not the MARTA bus, a mini bus. Right. And, and their take on it, what their, what, what their feel. What are you getting thus far? Because I've had a couple of citizens who have come by and said, hi, I like. I've had some that said, oh, let me ask, I got a, a few other questions. What have you getting thus far? Well, as with any controversial mm -hmm. issue within a community, mm -hmm. we're getting some for mm -hmm. and, and some against. Understood, understood, uh, only fair. But in, in all of our research, the thing that keeps coming back to us is that there's a significant segment of the Douglas County community that is underserved transportation-wise. Understood. Some families do not have any vehicles Correct. Uh, to get around with. Others. They may have a family of five or six, but have only so one limited. vehicle. So they got limited. They yeah. got limited transportation. Understood. Understood. And so that's that's what we're trying to do with the fixed route bus service, at least alleviate the issues that some of these families and individuals Understood. are having. Understood. Now there was a survey done early 2015, 16, Six, or somewhere. 2015, okay. 16. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and that talked about the need. Correct. Um, talk about that particular study, and how it evolved into two routes, four routes, and the routes that we're dealing with now. Well, when we did our transportation services study, we did it in a holistic manner. Understood. And, and by that I mean we weren't looking at one individual way to improve the mobility for Douglas County residents. We wanted to look at all the potential services that because, we could because, provide. Because if I'm not mistaken, it was talked about the, the, the study was starting off to the degree of uh, seniors and, and, and those that were disabled. 
and it kind of evolved into where we are today, correct? Well, we, we had the voucher program right, in, the in, existing play, services. in yes, place, yes. but we uh, certainly w we wanted to, to concentrate on the seniors and disabled, but the study didn't concentrate just on them. Again, mm -hmm. we were looking at all segments That's of the population. Understood. So we spent about a year doing this study mm -hmm. and uh, we actually came up with about 15 different rec recommendations on how we could improve mm -hmm. the mobility uh, for all citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a wide variety of, of uh, recommendations, uh, improve park and ride lots, okay. uh, partner, partnering with Uber and Lyft, uh, bicycle sharing, mm -hmm. uh, better sidewalks. Correct. Uh, the, the number one recommendation though coming out of this study was fixed route bus service. Understood, understood. And, and so <clears throat> while, while we spent a lot of time on the fixed route mm -hmm. bus service, we haven't neglected those other recommendations too. We're doing a lot of work on, on them as well. You just haven't heard as much about those. Understood. understood. Well, so far, um, what are you hearing here in Cornerstone Baptist Church? And I, I know you guys have made various stops. So what are you hearing, you know, I mean, the, the, the yays and the nays, and not trying to give you a percentage of what that is, but give us some of the stories that you're kind of hearing. I mean, just a few selectively. Yeah. Well, the the main thing is that people are having difficulty getting to important uh, things in their lives, doctors' visits, mm -hmm. even even getting to the grocery store. Well, I just heard one that said they want to get to the game, but but we won't. Well, go, yeah, right, that's, but, but go ahead. I that, mean, that's, that's important, important to a lot yes. of us. Yes. It is. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, th things like that, and, and again, they they have a a son or a daughter who needs to go to West Georgia. A technical college or Georgia Highlands College, they, they don't have a way to get them there without it being a real inconvenience mm -hmm. for the rest of their family. Mm -hmm. So so things like that. Gotcha. And we're yeah. going to, the, the bus service would serve key locations like the, the hospital, the courthouse, the senior citizens mm -hmm. centers, the library, the health center, mm -hmm. uh, places that people really need to need to get to. I've always felt that even in this whole busing system, to include all the other services that we have, it needs to be determined as to where it go and don't go, if it goes, and how long it goes or not go, based on ridership. Correct. Is that how this proposed, you know, pilot busing system is being looked at, or is it these are the fixed routes? And that's what it is. Concrete, and we're done. Well, we based all of this going back to our study. Mm -hmm. It identified routes, certain, certain pockets of the county that uh, data showed that these should be good areas for ridership. So what happens if you happen to find that pocket is not there now? What, would you move it uh, or we gotta, we, that's the route, that's it, that we're done? I mean. You, you go back and reevaluate. Okay. Uh, it might be that, that you find out that that route's just not feasible. Understand. And discontinue it. You might tweak the streets mm -hmm. that you go on. Mm -hmm. go along. Mm -hmm. You might change the hours that you operate. So there's a whole lot of different factors, working parts in so this. So citizens will have an opportunity to continue to have conversation, dialogue, and anything about where these routes need, what the needs are. Absolutely. Um, it's not carved in stone as to what four routes, from my understanding, right. that, you, that we've been speaking about. This is something that is going to evolve right. into we don't know what. Right. But this pilot program, it appears to be at least Douglas County is going in the right direction economically, I mean, and, and, and making the citizens of Douglas County very mobile. Absolutely. And, and that's our main goal okay. is to improve the mobility of all Douglas County residents. What, speaking of economics, do you hear from, let's say, the Red Cross, the switch and others that said to you and to the committee and others, we need a busing not a, a transportation system to connect people from Douglas Countyans to that location. Do you hear that kind of? Yes, sir. Are you having those kind of yes, conversations? Yes, sir. As okay. a matter of fact, over the last 18 months or so, uh, we've worked a lot with the Douglas County Development mm -hmm. Authority, mm -hmm. and they brokered some meetings with us uh, on some of the, the businesses along Thornton Road, Riverside okay. Drive. Okay. And 
with impetus from the development authority and some of those specific um, companies along Thornton Road, they, they actually suggested, requested mm -hmm. uh, us to have a route along those stretches. Because they are, they're looking at those employees that um, may have that need uh, versus, and, and let me say another part that it probably serves a, a good purpose is air quality. Yes, absolutely. I mean, and, and, and now with the new state, I don't want to call it a mandate, but the state ATL mobile, mm -hmm. help me out with that, H, that bill that, right. that, that the governor kind of signed and sealed. And with that whole makeup, how would that tie in or be a part of, or maybe even look at uh, Connect Douglas? Well, let me give you a perfect example. Okay, give me the perfect example. We, um, we're close to being approved for a $4.8 million federal grant to okay. help us operate the bus service for the first three years. Okay. The name of that grant is Congestion Mitigation Air Quality. Oh, okay. So if this bus service wasn't doing something to improve air quality, we wouldn't stand a chance Understood. of getting the grant. Understood. Okay, okay. So we are addressing even from the ARC perspective and, and the state when it deals with air quality. So that's a, that's a plus. Exactly. Getting some of those cards off the street. Right. Okay. Now, let's talk about the extended arm that takes it all the way to homes. Mm -hmm. Share with us that whole makeup. Well, the, this is what we're calling Express Route 100. Okay. Uh, it would uh, have several stops in, in Douglasville, uh, go into Lithia Springs, make a stop along Thornton Road, okay. actually okay. make a stop on Six Flags Drive, and then go straight into the H.E. Holmes Marta Station. Got now, again, the purpose of that particular route is connectivity, Got because that, that connects the Douglasville area mm -hmm. with the Lithia Springs area, all the jobs there, mm -hmm. uh, the Six Flags area, area, all the jobs there, even for teenagers who were working at the Six Flags Park. Okay. And then it allows individuals to go on into the Atlanta area and if make connections there for, yeah. for jobs in Atlanta. Got you. Got you. And, and that, that is one of the areas in our uh, application for the federal grant money, the connectivity part was one of the areas that we scored highest in, basically because of that route. Got it. Now, I know there's a few that's asking this question. Is this have to deal with any connectivity or dealing, is this have anything to do with MARTA outside of us connecting Douglas, making Douglas County mobile, because I, I hear that the myth about MARTA. You yeah. know? Not that MARTA's a bad, right. but, but yeah. what could- the, the only connection we would have with MARTA is making that connection with MARTA oh, at HE okay. Homes. Okay, okay. But also talking about connectivity, with the, the stop on Thornton Road and at Six Flags, we'll be able to connect with Cobb Community Transit too. That's correct. And, and offer citizens a chance to get over to Cobb Wellstar Hospital and that huge shopping area over on Osceola well, Road. Find, you're gonna find this strange that we had a gentleman here who and his, his, his wife talked about trying to get to uh, the games. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how can I get to the game? I, you know, I, I wanna get to the Braves game. So this may be a, a possibility now. On down the road, that could yes. be a very okay. real possibility, okay. yeah. Good. Good. Okay, well, Gary, Thanks again. I mean, I don't know if you want to share anything else with District Dialogue, all the viewers, but uh, you're the wealth of information. We really appreciate that. Well, I that. appreciate that. My only comment would be that, that uh, I welcome all citizens of Douglas County to contact me. Okay. If they have more questions or concerns about the, the bu bus service, okay. my, my office, my door is always open. Mm -hmm. Feel free to come see me at any time. Um, so I'm assuming we'll have a number for you on, you know, kind of, or you want to share your number or email address that they can kind of email you, call you, or whatever that is? Well, my direct line, it rings on my desk, is 770-920-7516. Okay. Email is gwatson at co.douglas.ga.us. You're good. You're good. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Thank you again Thank for you. being a part of District Dialogue. We've got more to come. It's Connect Douglas. We got it, and we got all the details right here for you with Commissioner Mitchell on District Dialogue. Joining me now on District Dialogue, I've got the pastor of all pastors. <laughs> pastor Lang and his lovely wife, thank you for being a part of District Dialogue. 
And most Absolutely. of all, thank you for allowing us to use your great facilities to bring Douglas Connect, let me get this right, Connect Douglas uh, to the home stretch of Lithia Springs. So mm -hmm. thank you for allowing us to do this and yeah. thank you for allowing your lovely wife to kind of hang yeah, out with us you. just yeah. for a moment and talk about all the things that are happening here yes. with District Dialogue. So you had a chance yes. to kind of uh, get on the bus, as mm -hmm. they would call. Mm -hmm. That's not like a, a Spike Lee movie, doesn't mm -hmm. it? <laughs> uh -huh. So you had a chance to get on the bus. Why don't you and your wife just share with me kind of, first of all, what in the room, what did you notice and how did you well, see and view the bus? Okay. And, okay. All right. I'm uh, listening. First of all, it was our pleasure to host uh, this event as all times, anytime they say Henry Mitchell, <laughs> you know, they already have me. Okay. Uh, secondly, I'm a Douglas County resident and pastor of Cornerstone Baptist Church. I've been here for about 25 years and uh, really moved to Douglas County in order to uh, assume the pastorate and all that so just looking forward to uh, great things that are going on out here. I'm always excited about what's happening in Douglas County and this is a new venture on, yes. on the part of our uh, of our government and uh, reaching the people meet, meeting the needs of the people that are out here and there's a need we see people going outside of our county but we need something inside of our county mm -hmm. to help us to 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 reach the folks who are here and get mm -hmm. have them to get around. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I was really impressed with what were the routes that I looked at, two particular ones that come to my mind, that when I looked at the, um, the, the fact that folks could get to the hospital, people could get to the county courthouse, they could get you know, mm -hmm. to different areas, but also I really like Route 100. I okay. really okay. like that because we used to live in the H.E. Holmes area, so okay. we yeah. had okay. that in, on there. And so what happened is that when you connect with that and connecting with Cobb and Douglas and Fulton, I think it's just an excellent idea. What, what do wow. you think? I, I think so too. I, I, if you remember, we used to live in Buckhead. Yes. And what happened in Buckhead was that there was no Lenox Mall uh, station. And everybody was complaining that if we bring the station there, yeah. other things would come. Well, what we found out, once it got there, the people in that community started using it. Yeah. And I think it'll happen just right out here, yeah. that the people will use a, a Douglas Connect. Yeah. So thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. I, yes. I was aware of one thing, though, people are concerned about the routes going out to Jesse Davis Park and, mm -hmm. and the, all of that. You know, okay. the, people matter to God. Yes. And so they should matter to us. And so we've got problems everywhere. So right. you can't just say one particular place is a, is a problem. You've got okay. problems everywhere yes. in terms of that. So I, I would think that that would be a great thing for us to do. Yes. Wow. So, Th yes. This was yeah. a great insight. Yeah. Yes. So you yes. guys did your homework. Yes. Yes, yes. we and, always and, do. <laughs> yes. I know. And, and the good part is, honestly speaking, you're right. Yeah. If, if not that you build it, they will come. Yeah. But if you give them the means of being mobile, mm -hmm. yeah. then it only help those that need it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here's the other thing I noticed okay. too. Um, I, I, I thought about, I looked at the routes, and I think that's a great concern for people talking about uh, the bus routes in the neighborhoods. I really didn't see anything going through private neighborhoods. I was okay. impressed with that okay. mm -hmm. because it won't disturb folks who really live in residential areas. Like Understood. That. So I really was impressed with the, with the okay. routes. Okay. I, mean, okay. I know you're, go, you're going yeah. to tweak the routes. You're exactly right. So, so but uh, I think it's very intentional that the, you all are trying to do that. But yeah. the routes are close enough that people who are yeah. living in neighborhoods no, that's exactly yeah. right. can get to it. Yeah, yeah. And, we, yes. and we keep thinking about, uh, because I work for, with seniors, okay. I think about the uh, pop, uh, fastest growing population that's losing a lot of things, like the, uh, the uh, cannot drive. The ability to drive. The ability to drive. And so those are our seniors. Yes. And we, this is a bedroom county, and we have a lot of seniors out yes, here. So we need to take care. We well, need to we make do. sure. Well, strangely enough, yeah. right beside your church, you know we got the new Senior Citizen Center that's, that's coming correct. right beside your that church. So yes. that might be that need, now not today, yeah. but there might be that need where the seniors needs to get there yes. and yes. then return home. Exactly. Yes. And they yes. can get right on the bus. Yeah, possibly. And if the routes are there to yes. get from that bus to home and back to the senior citizen center right. where all the activities are. So right. there's a plus. Right. Yes. Right. I, I do right. think it's going to be a plus for mm -hmm. the Douglas County area too. I think yes. it'll be, and it can only get better. Yes. Got it can only get better. So I'll end on that note there. It so, can only get better. Wow. You heard it first. I, I, I was just trying to have a conversation with yeah. the pastor and, and the lovely wife and thank yeah. you guys for all the information. And again, this is only a pilot program. Yes. 
Yes. And, and we'll, we'll tweak it as we go. We'll yeah. see the need. It started off with two rounds. It's up to four rounds. Oh, Who knows great. what tomorrow will bring? Yes. I yeah. mean, we're part of the 13 county metropolitan piece of the Atlanta Mobile deal that mm -hmm. just passed throughout the state. So yes. we're growing. Good. We're a growing county, right. and that's a good thing. That right. is a good thing. Economically, good. we're growing. Yes. That's right. a good thing. So I, I don't. I, I'm, I'm proud to say that we're moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there will be some needs to make some adjustments to make sure mm -hmm. it works right and mm -hmm. it fits the need. And I always say it's got to be based off the ridership need versus mm -hmm. just yeah. we want to take it. So it's yeah. got to be right. about ridership. Right. Yeah. I like the intra-county transit. Uh, people yeah. who work in Douglas County also yes. will live in Douglas County, have yes. to be able yeah. to find jobs yes. in Douglas County. Mm -hmm. yes. And as they're trying to buy a car, yes. they can get to work so right. they can mm -hmm. do that. I like mm -hmm. all of that. And so. if they don't have the car, we've got the means of yes. possibly yes. getting you to and from. Now, yes. this is not a done deal. No. Yes. We're, no. we're getting there. So yes. we're going to work our way and work our way through all this. Yes. So. Yes. But again, I, I thank think you. What, yes. Let me just add yeah. one Go thing. Right ahead, uh, I think this is going to help a lot. Okay. with our foreclosure rate in Douglas okay. County. Okay. Because the reason many times we're in foreclosure, okay. homes are in foreclosure, because there's not enough income or no income. Okay. And many times, especially in Douglas County, uh, yes, can't get the income because can't get to work. Yes. So mm -hmm. I think this point. may be a good answer it's to an our economic foreclosure. driver. Yes. To, okay, yes. I, I hear you. Yes. All right, Pastor okay. Lang, I think she's on to something. I think so. <laughs> I well, think so too. thank you guys okay. again. And again, thank you for allowing us to use this beautiful yeah. facility to at least so well. have this dialogue. You're so well. And again, thank you. And thank you to the viewers of District Dialogue. Thank you for being a part of District Dialogue. And we're talking Connect Douglas. And it's right here at Cornerstone Baptist Church. Thank you. Wow, this has been awesome. Connect Douglas. District Dialogue, Commissioner Mitchell, you've got all the insights, you've heard all the experts, and you've had a chance to see some of the constituents' point of view about the do's and don'ts and all the services that we offer. I first want to say thank you for tuning into District Dialogue. Thank you for being a part of this great program. Thank you to the executive producers and, and all the camera people for doing what they do. And on that note, have yourself a wonderful day. And again, connect Douglas. Stay in tune. Commissioner Mitchell, District Dialogue. Enjoy your day.